sometimes when I jump in a Mercedes it is such a re refreshing experience it's like having an ice cream on a very hot sunny summer's afternoon simply because other cars involve effort driving yet you get in a Mercedes and it's just like you're it's like you're laying in bed giving orders for the car to move that's how good a ride this Mercedes is it may not have the most luxurious and fancy interiors that some Mercedes do have with the stitched in stitched uh, dashboard and what have you but this is by no means a budget interior this car just floats along it's it's almost like the engine and the car and the road are in complete agreement with each other and there's like this massive air of affinity and the road is there for the car the wheels are there for the car everything just works beautifully I find it almost impossible that anything on this car would break down because this car just makes you feel so good when you drive it it's not about fast driving it's not about the sound of any engine it's about just how good a ride it is the steering fantastic really is it's just perfect if there's anything I can't find I like about the steering is the fact that I think the steering wheel is a bit low and I'd like my seat to go lower but don't seem to be able to do that quite as low as I would like in fact on the seat adjustment side the uh, controls for that which are electronic are actually a little bit fiddly to get to dashboard instrumentation Oh, looks like an expensive watch. You know, it, it, the only other cars you see that in, are like the Aston Martin Vantage. The interior is beautiful. It, it's just comfort. It's lovely. It's uh, ergonomically beautiful. It's aesthetically pleasing. This car just says to me, calm. It's like it's like motorized Valium. If there's anything I can find wrong, I'd say the the mirrors on the wing mirrors they're they're a bit puny. I don't see why we have to use these tiny little mirrors. It's not much bigger than a lady's compact for putting her makeup on. The rear view vision, even though there's headrests, it's not obstructed at all. And this happens to be the first car I've been in when I can look into the rear view mirror and the headrests are not using up some part of the uh, area that you're supposed to be able to see through. The brakes on this feel totally controlled. You can apply the brake pressure with any gradient you like there's no grabbing there's no snappy brakes grabby brakes it's just you put on as much brake as you want for the given situation firm soft slow whatever this car will not be everybody's cup of tea but I personally think this car is fantastic it is absolutely perfect I can't find anything wrong with it and I can't see anything wrong with it in its design or shape it just happens to be a lovely car anybody who is watching this video now will most likely either own one of these or will be looking at buying one and I tell you what if you're looking at buying one you're gonna have one of the best rides in a vehicle you can in modern times listen to that beautiful car.